So you may recently seen that we got my helmet back from the paint. Um, looks pretty cool, it's something very different that I'm very excited about. But something I just want to take you through today is just a bit of the helmet kit, um, the drink system and the radio. Because that's sometimes something you don't see and it's quite interesting how it actually gets done. So before we start, um, we obviously need a radio kit. So we normally buy these from an external source. Um, they look very much like this and they'll have an end that your headphones plug into. Um, a long stem that goes to the microphone and obviously what you see that plugs into the car. So once you've got the radio kit you'll need to fit it into the helmet. So what we sort of do for that is we end up pulling all the padding out so the padding that's normally in there just simply comes out and luckily from uh, Stilo the manufacturer they normally put veins in the padding for the radio kits to sit so sometimes you need to use hot glue gun um, sometimes it just fits in sometimes some cable ties um, and then there's the, the uh, front mouth, mouthpiece so you can see there's holes here so normally um, we can slide it through the back or the front and have it sitting there nicely. So now we've got the radio side of it sorted, we need to do the drink system. This is obviously a very important part of it, especially at hot rounds like Adelaide. So normally in the inner parts of the helmet, because it's so um, space restricted, we actually have a very thin um, bit of piping that we'll normally put through there. And, and you can see in the padding here that there's different holes that this can poke through. And you can play around a lot. Some people like it sitting in their mouth the whole time. Some people like it just... Um, directed at their mouth because when we have a button on the steering wheel when we push that um, it gets the pressurized water in there so you don't actually have to suck and then once we sort of plumb that into the helmet the same way through those veins that we did the radio kit we can actually connect it up to a much beefier um, bit of pipe here and then once that's all sort of married up we normally run the pipe through the middle of the cord here and then we'll put a heat shrink over the top of it to hold it all, all together. Now that we have those two systems in our car we need to put the adapter to it and this is so endurance races, um, we can easily plug it in and out and so we don't stress the little connectors and the joints um, on the radio and on the drink. So these normally just slide in here, they're all 3D printed um, and then they normally have about three or four screws that you tighten up. And also another handy feature of these is we actually put the driver chip in these. So it's a little chip that every driver will have. It's so that when we're at Bathurst and all those sort of events they can tell who's actually driving the car because as you change over it actually recognises that a different person's driving the car. So I hope it's been insightful and if there's anything you guys want to know behind the scenes to do with anything, the helmet, the race gear, the cars, out of the car stuff, uh, please let me know in the comments below. Thank <laughs> you.